What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is full of tips, tricks, hacks, and everything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today, let's talk about things you should not do at volleyball tryouts. Let's get right into it. So a lot of you guys are trying out for volleyball, but if you're not, I still want you to know this information so eventually when you do try out, you know exactly what to do. So there are some things that you should not do when trying out for volleyball that you might not know, that you might know, whatever, I want you to know, okay? I'm trying to put you on game. So I've tried out for the volleyball team several times, but here are some things that I've noticed that you shouldn't do. Make sure you subscribe and like this video because it really helps a lot. Number one, do not, and I mean do not show up late. When I mean late, if you're on time, you're late. If you're early, you're on time. So make sure you get there early so that way you have chance to see what you're, see what's going on. You have a time to see this, see the coach. Make sure you have time to stretch, warm up. I want you to be there on time so that way you don't have the chance of getting injured, but you have enough time and you're not stressed because you're running late. Be on time, people. It is so important to get and be timely. That is an important lesson in anything. I want you guys to learn that early possibly so that way you're not late because it's important for you to have the time to really get in the zone. Number two, make sure you're stretching, you're warming up. Don't think that it's really cool to just go out there and just start peppering or doing whatever you need to do. Make sure you take the time to actually stretch your body so that way you don't get hurt. It's important for you to show that you're prioritizing your health. That means stretching and doing the proper stretches and make sure you have time to actually warm your body up. It, I know it's cool, I know it's kind of intimidating and you wanna go out there really fast and you want to show that you're eager and you want to show that you're doing things quickly cool that's cool but also you need to make sure to take the time to stretch and warm up it is so important and it's vital I'm being super serious stretch and warm up people <clears throat> number three at the end of the tryout most of the time sometimes the coach will have people take down the net or help set up or help shag the ball. I want you to make sure that you're shagging your own ball. Don't hit the ball and then you just go off and you just get back in the hitting line. Or don't go and pepper and you just leave all the balls just hanging around. Make sure you pick up and you shag the ball. That means shag, for some of you guys who are new, that means just pick up and collect things. So that means take up, take care of your things. Clean up after yourself. If you hit a ball, go get it. That shows that you're really taking care of the equipment because the equipment is expensive and we want to make sure that we're taking care of the equipment so that way we have a chance to use it over a long time so if you hit a ball go and get it if you pass a ball go and get it make sure you show initiative clean up some of the balls that are near you don't just walk past some that you see that are just out it's a really coachable move if you see a ball that comes in rolls near you that you give it back to that person that is something that is so coachable and something that can really show the coach that you're a team player and that's exactly what we want you to be, a team player. Number four, when it's time to get water, don't act like you're so big and bad and that you don't need water and that you're tough. Hydrate, hydrate. I know sometimes you wanna put on this tough demeanor or this tough persona where you're like, I don't need water, I'm good, I can take more. No, I want you to get water, hydrate your body. It's important, we know that you need water. It will help you go longer if you get water. Make sure you take that opportunity to get water. So if the coach says, okay, everybody, water break, I, it may be cool to socialize. I was that person that was like sitting there socializing, cool. But I want you to get water. Prioritize that hydration while you're talking to your teammates. And when the water break is over, make sure you get back to your station and you hustle. I don't mean water walk back. I want you to hustle back. So even if that's a light jog everywhere, take that light jog in stride. So that is another important thing. And that's going on to number five. I want you to hustle. That means that when you're in tryouts, don't walk from station to station or walk from drill to drill. I want you to show initiative. So put a light jog on. I'm not saying that you have to like full out like sprint everywhere. No, I'm saying that a light jog will do. So one of the most aggravating things for me as a coach is when I'm putting so much effort into these drills and putting so much effort into um, sp saving time because practices are usually only like two hours or even an hour and a half and it's usually after school or if you're in a club you have more dedicated time but if you're trying it for a school team there's not much time for you to learn actual skill so when players are just 
It uses so much time and it's so much better when you can hustle and it will keep you and save you from running laps because some coaches, they don't like when players walk and they make everybody run laps because of it. Let's not be that player. So make sure you have a hustle on your body when you're doing that. Now these are some of the things that you can do at tryouts that can just boost your chances just a little bit. I still think you need to practice your basic skills. I also think that it's important that you introduce yourself to the coach and we've talked about that many times. If you want more confidence building videos on this channel, please let me know because I have just I just ooze the confidence for y'all. But I just want you to take in those tips and really work on your strategy for making the team. There is a strategy, strategic. I want you to work on introducing yourself to the coach, making sure you're on time, pick out your tryout outfit, boost yourself up with some music beforehand, work on your smile, work on your coachability. I want you to work on those things so when you try to make the team, you have a great chance because you have a great attitude. So also, I have something cool. So I'm doing live overhand serve classes and that means that I am going to start teaching you guys how to overhand serve live. So that means that what you can do is check my description box below and you're going to be able to sign up for my classes and I can teach you how to overhand serve over the internet and it's going to be so cool. I want you to check that out and enter that form below if that's something that you're very interested in so that way I can get some information out for you so that way you can join my overhand serving class. And with that, if you have any other tips down below, if you want to see any kind of videos down below, please put it down below and make sure you like comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody who needs it. All right, and I will see you guys next time.